profile learners, let's try to understand in this session about a most useful visualization chart that's available in Seaboard library, which is box plot. Generally, this box plot is used to perform outlier analysis on a given set of data. So a box plot will generally look like this, wherein in the x-axis, the range of data in which a particular feature gets distributed will be shown. And shortly, we'll look at what these lines indicates. So basically, this box plot will be used to, to perform explanatory data analysis, meaning that, so given a feature, let's say you have n number of features, a1 to an, so you take any feature in order to identify how the value gets distributed and about the skewness of data, box plot is be useful. Skewness refers to the alignment of data towards a particular uh, range. Okay, so that's the meaning of box plot. So how this, how to draw this box plot? Basically, in order to understand how to draw this, these are the steps to be followed. First, we have to arrange the data in the ascending order. Okay, so once arranged, so you have to identify the median, which is nothing but the center element of the sequence of data. So when the number of elements is odd, you don't have to worry. So you can directly identify the middle element to be the median. If the number of elements are even, you know that there will be two central elements or middle elements and you have to take the average of those two middle elements. Once this median gets identified, you can divide the data set into exactly into two, right? So here, when you have even number of items, you can directly divide it into two. If you have odd number of items, you have to use this middle element, which is the median for both the sets. So once having divided into two sets, take the first set and identify the middle element that forms the first quartile. And take the second set, identify the middle element which forms the third quartile. And you can find what is the minimum value over the range and what is the maximum value over the range. And these also can be represented as two endpoints on your box plot. With that, if you look at this diagram, now assume this is the data distribution we do have. So you have a set of values given. Now I have ordered this in an ascending order. Okay. So totally how many elements are there? 14 elements are there. So when 14 elements are there, how to identify the median? Leave out six elements over here. Leave out six elements that side. The middle two elements, okay, take the average 4 plus 4 divided by 2, which is nothing but 4. That is the median that you will have, okay. So once this median is identified, break this into two parts. So when you divide, how many elements you do have, it is 7. Here on the other side, you will have 7 elements. So what is the middle element of this? When you segregate this into that portion of the first set, the middle element is 2, which is nothing but your first quartile. And here, if you look at what is the middle element, it is nothing but 5, which is nothing but the third quartile. Okay. The minimum value of this range is 0, and the maximum value is 8. Let's try to understand the terminologies in the box plot. Given a box plot of this kind, you can see 0, this represents your minimum value. Okay. This is represented. 8 is your maximum value, it is represented. So this line indicates your median. Okay. So the median is represented using this line, which is nothing but 4. Okay. So towards left, whatever is the uh, actual value, which is 2, it is indicated by the first quartile. This is 2. Okay. And on to the right, if you distribute, so 5 is your actual third quartile. We have represented minimum, maximum, median, first quartile, third quartile. Okay, so the distance between these two. Okay, so the first quartile and the third quartile is what we call as interquartile range. Okay, interquartile range, and this is the minimum, this is the maximum. We saw these part. Okay, so from the first quartile till this, and from the uh, third quartile till the maximum is what we call as the viscous. Okay. So this is, these are the terminologies that we should know. Okay, now how to do outlier analysis. So when you want to perform outlier analysis, the general convention is that you have to identify the values of first quartile minus 1.5 times your interquartile value. How to identify this interquartile? It is first minus third. 
for the distance okay so you subtract any value that lie beyond that range similarly third quartile plus 1.5 times into quartile range okay so if you have the box plot drawn like this okay, this represents your third quartile this represents your inter quartile range so whatever be the value over here plus 1.5 times okay you can set a margin and beyond that and below this is what we call as outlier and hence can be removed out of this now let's see or let's move on to find out how these box plot is being drawn using python as usual we are creating a data frame with the set of elements as i have shown you okay those gets arranged in a sorted order trying to print the mean and median mean is nothing but the average of the entire values which is calculated to be 3.785714 median is supposed to be the middle element which we have calculated and found to be 4.0 the same is received here then coming to uh, printing of uh, the box plot and we have imported seaborn as an object and this already we have imported so no need for that i'm setting the title as box plot with seaborn and the ticks what is a tick okay on to the x axis you can see this tick mark the time enabling okay so and sns dot box plot of which data we are going to take it is nothing but df okay since it has only one feature i am using as such the color i am setting to orange which you can change orientation is horizontal if you want vertical orientation you can change it to be v so when you run you can see here so your median gets aligned here this is third quartile this is first quartile minimum value is 0 maximum value is 8 so that's the use of that now let us add one outlier to this and see what happens let's say i am adding 100 to this i am drawing you see it automatically segregates that 100 as an outlier now let me remove this 100 and make it as 10 10 should not be considered as an outlier because we ourselves know that it's near to actual available values you can see 10 is being taken as the maximum value rather it is not counted as an outlier okay so how to count the outlier or how to find out any value that exists beyond the first quartile minus 1.5 times inter quartile value or the third quartile plus 1.5 times inter quartile value is said to be an outlier so let's see one last chance of how 50 gets understood is it an outlier or not again we just have to rerun yes 50 is considered to be an outlier okay so that's what is about box plot